What's up, my name's Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to fix an issue that you could be experiencing with Steam when you're trying to install new games, especially on other drives, removable drives, external drives, or anything really. If you're getting an error that looks something like this, if I click install here, choose to create a new Steam library on say H drive, my internal NVMe SSD, you'll see new Steam library folder must be writable and it doesn't work. I can click next, but it'll simply install to C drive without telling me anything. Now, of course, this could be a sign of hard drive or disk failure. It's a good idea to run check disk and other things like that to make sure your drives are running in tip top shape. But of course, I know mine don't have issues. So that's not the issue here as it's happening with more than just one drive for some reason. It's simply a software glitch. But if you're not sure, you should do checks on your hard drives to make sure that they're nice and healthy first. How do we fix this? Well, first of all, head across to Steam in the top left, then Settings, Downloads, and Steam Library Folders. Then inside of here, if it's already a library folder on our PC, you should see it listed over here. We can click the three dots, then Repair Folder, and it should try to fix games inside of it, repair the folder itself, etc., and get back to a working state. If we scroll to the right and click Add here, and choose to make a new one, and we still get this error, what can we do? Well, first of all, I'll click Cancel here, and I'll hit Start and E at the same time to open up a new file browser. I'll head into my H drive, the ones having issues, and inside of him, I'll right click him and click New, then Folder, and I'll type Steam with a capital S and hit Enter. Then I'll open it up, and inside of him, we'll be making something similar to this structure. So I'll right click New Folder Steam Apps and try to use this drive again. If you still see this error, after making the Steam Apps folder, I'll head back. Then we'll right-click this new folder, Properties, and we'll simply make sure that Read Only is unticked, Apply, OK, and hopefully things work after this. For me, I know they won't, but there is one more thing we can do. Of course, if you've already tried restarting Steam, the only last thing we can do is navigate across to where Steam is installed. For me, it's C, Program Files 86, Steam, and inside of here, next to Steam EXE, we should see Config. I'll open this folder, and we're looking for library folders.vdf. I'll open up a new notepad, and I'll drag the file into here to open it up. Now you'll see your existing folders here. Zero, open bracket, close bracket, one, open close, etc. for as many of these folders as you have. All we need to do is scroll to the bottom, and we'll be duplicating the last one here. So we'll be copying from the last closing brackets to the opening brackets and including the quotation number here. I'll copy it and paste it. Note that I have selected from the very end up to the previous line over here. So when we duplicated it, it copied this new line and all of this text. Then I'll change four to five in my case, in your case, one to two, two to three, just incremented by one. And I'll type in the path here. For me, it's H and I've simply called it Steam. Then content ID, I'll leave this as maybe one, total size one, and apps should be empty. If you see anything in this apps list here, simply edit yours to look like mine. Then we can close Steam if you haven't already. I'll right click Steam in my start bar down here, exit, and I'll save this file here. Then we can reopen Steam. And when it does reopen, library, and let's try to install something. You'll see now that H Steam shows up here. I can select it, next, and the installation will simply begin just like that. Don't know why you have to go through the manual effort, but I did in this case. And reopening the same library folders.vdf file, you'll see that not much has changed at all. The total size has updated, but the content ID is one. You may want to type in some other random numbers here, maybe something similar to the length of these. Just make sure it's not the same as anything else. Heading across to the other drive, then Steam, Steam Apps, you can see that in here we've got new files and Steam Apps common. We've got New World downloading here. It's currently in the downloading folder here. Everything's as it should be. The world is right. Super odd, but weird workaround. But of course, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.